are you doing? It's me! Hello and welcome back to Exploring the Outer Planets. Sorry guys, um, I had that trip to Tucson, then I got sick so I couldn't speak effectively so I couldn't record it, and I also just have to do finals and get into college. Yeah, it's just been a busy time, so I wasn't able to record this. Hopefully I'll be able to edit, edit this. I'm recording it on Monday. Hopefully I'll get it out as soon as possible. Maybe tomorrow, probably not. But anyway, back to the series. So far, we've gone to Sonaris, Yerlum, and now we have to go to the equivalent of Neptune, also known as Na God, Nidon, or something along those lines. I don't have any idea how to pronounce this one, so I'm not going to try. It's Neptune. It's purple Neptune. Now, I did have a plan, like I said last episode, and that was to actually fly in the atmosphere. But I uh, did a quick test. Um, that's why I have hyper edit. I Put a plane into the atmosphere and it didn't work so instead we're going to build a colony on uh neptune okay so i realized that this isn't the most efficient or practical colony idea but you know i wanted more of a challenge and i know i can't get to the moons very effectively and it would take too much work to actually plan out my fuel because they're at such weird angles so instead i decided i can just throw a hitchhiker module or two together and put them on this big heat shield uh where is it yes there yes because there's an inflatable heat shield hooray Okay, we're somewhat stable. We need to start turning already. We're getting too high for this crap. Oh, mother of God. Ignore the random clouds. That wasn't me. Um, but yeah, uh, I know there's an easy fix to this problem. I just need to add some struts up higher on the spacecraft. But you know what? I accept the challenge. I'm going to try to fly this completely useless, delicate little floppy rocket into space. Once you're out of the atmosphere, really rocket stability um structurally wise is not that big of a deal oh apparently it is holy sh this is launch number three um if this is the successful launch hello to you people who are coming from the beginning of the video you've missed well really nothing except for the creation of this incredibly ugly rocket but hey, we're landing a colony on Neptune, so you have to deal with an ugly launch stage. And I forgot to transfer fuel into that tank. God, I'm an idiot. Well, good news is uh, we don't have to carry that empty tank. Bad news is we're cutting it close on Delta V, I think. We'll see you in another lifetime. What the? Teleport? This again? I, I already went through all my overbuilding. Yes! We are alive. And we can teleport away from Kerbin. Or not. Did we just screw it up again? Okay. View and tracking station. Now maybe well I if I can time warp without being in control of it, it will be able to get further away from Kerbin and not be affected. Because it's not physics calculating on it. Okay, just fly away, little spacecraft. Fly through those asteroids. Ha! I figured it out. Okay. This should have worked. Okay, let's stop time warping and actually fly this spacecraft. Please! 
For the love of God, have the right orbit. Yes! Quick save. So, now we begin our long, long journey. Where is... Wait. Well, apparently I don't have better time warp, so I have to sit here and wait forever for my spacecraft to get out to the new planet. Ta-da, I'm gonna go make myself a sandwich. <laughs> Okay, now we want to start decelerating. Oh, and quickly, retract panels, retract panels. Can I inflate the heat shield while I'm still here? Hmm. Let's quick save. Inflate heat shield? Yes, it works! Safety measures. 10 out of 10. And now we begin the frightening descent. Okay, welcome back. Um, I actually quit after that explosion, but then remembered that I had a quick save right before we went into the atmosphere. And that means that I can actually um, reduce the time, or yeah, subtract time from the quick save and effectively time travel into the past further than I actually quick saved. So I went ahead and subtracted about a thousand seconds. Let's see where we ended up. Okay, let's try this again. Six minutes, that's what we want. Okay. 12, 11, 10. Okay, that should be good. Let's face retrograde. Don't quick save because this might not be correct. And Z, right? Yep. Inflate heat shield and sit back and watch. If this doesn't work, I'm not launching this mission again. I have... Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Uh... Okay, we have... Um... Safe? Deploy those. Deploy those. Oh boy. These are still unsafe? They're safe now. Oh boy, um, okay, well never mind, I was gonna say if this doesn't work we're not trying it again because this episode's already been delayed, but it looks like we might be getting there. I'm not gonna open these chutes. Like, it says it's safe, it's not safe. Um, so now we sit here for ages waiting for us to actually get to the ground. Holy <laughs> what the f happened? Okay, I wasn't paying attention. Oh no, we lost power. All our power generation is gone. Uh-oh. That ain't good. And our power storage. That means that this thing is entirely dead. I think we've landed and also, yeah, our orbit is flattened out. So, I think the hotel's done. We've put a hotel on Nidon. Still, I, I'm saying that completely wrong, I guarantee it. But anyway, if you can come here, you can stay here for free, no charge. You can just live in this little hotel for a little bit. If you want to do that, uh-oh. Oh, uh-oh. What is this? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's going on? No, 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 no. Wait, up. Uh, min pressure. Min pressure down. Altitude up. There we go. Come on, altitude up. Altitude up. We don't want to die. Um, yeah, we don't want to hit the ground too hard. Okay, come on. 
Uh, well, like I was saying, if you can come to this totally safe, inspector-friendly hotel, it's free of charge. Enjoy your stay at the Nidon Hotel. I'm gone happy. Bye.